Causal loop diagrams are used to create a visual relationship model. As we investigate the network of interactions associated with a situation, we need a way to capture understanding as it develops. We are only capable of currently holding a few relationships in our mind at the same time. A visual representation proves quite beneficial in dealing with this limitation. Causal loop diagrams represent a snapshot in time of a dynamic situation, have no associated numerical values, and are therefore qualitative in nature. It is the intent of this video to provide you with an understanding of the elements of a causal loop diagram. Present the typical alternate notations you are likely to experience. Identify the shortcomings of the typical notations. Explain a preferred notation which overcomes these shortcomings and provide sufficient examples so you should be able to develop a causal loop diagram for a situation. Causal loop diagrams have only two elements, entities between which there are relationships. An entity is generally labeled as a directionless noun or noun phrase. Sales tends to be far easier to understand than declining sales when combined with increasing or decreasing. The rationale for this should become quite obvious as we begin to discuss multiple relationships. Influences indicating the relationships between two entities. As we've seen shortly, there are two different types of influences possible. The implication is that the simplest causal loop diagram requires two entities and one influence. Though that's not actually a loop, is it? The loop takes two entities and two influences. There are two primary causal loop diagram notations, one using S and O, or same and opposite, popularized by Peter Senge in the fifth discipline, and one using plus and minus for adds to and subtracts from. In the S and O notation, an S implies that the influenced variable moves in the same direction as the influencing variable. As sales increases, revenue increases, and as sales decreases, revenue decreases. In the plus minus notation, a plus indicates that the source variable adds to the destination variable, or a change in the source variable causes a change in the destination variable in the same direction. The reasoning for this extended meaning will arise shortly. In the S and O notation, an O implies that the influenced variable moves in the opposite direction as the influencing variable. As sales increases, inventory decreases. And as sales decreases, inventory increases. Though as you think about it, the nature of inventory, the second relationship, isn't strictly correct. In the plus minus notation, a minus indicates that the source variable subtracts from the destination variable, or a change in the source variable causes a change in the destination variable in the opposite direction. For the relationship between sales and inventory, subtracts from is a more appropriate notation because as sales decreases, it still subtracts from inventory, though not as quickly. This inconsistency will be sorted out shortly. The notation problem is easily resolved with the realization that there are actually two general types of variables. There are those variables which change instantaneously. If sales decreases, revenue if sales increases, revenue immediately increases. Then there are variables which accumulate and take time to change. If we differentiate these two types of variables in the causal loop diagram, there's really no confusion whether one uses the S and O notation or the plus minus notation. In this diagram, we use a rectangle to indicate an accumulator or stock. Finished inventory increases with production and decreases with product sales, though it happens over time. Changing resources or productivity immediately changes production. One of the best ways to tell instantaneous variables from accumulators is to imagine what happens if time stops. When you stop time, there is no production and no product sales, though finished inventory still exists and doesn't change. To this point, the basic elements have been presented, though with a label like causal loop diagrams, there probably should be some loops involved. Please continue with loops and loops the next video in this series.